Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another PS Vita homebrew video. And today I wanted to talk about some of the latest ports and some issues that I've been having with these ports. Uh, now, right off the bat, there has been a new port from Rene Ganamante and the Flow. Big shout out to the developers for creating this amazing port and the Fahrenheit Indigo Prophecy. Uh, I believe that was a PS2 game, right? But this one is an Android port. So you will need the Android APK files. You have to extract those files. And this one's a little bit of a different uh, build. Uh, there's actually quite a few steps for you to do in order for this thing to work. So let's take a look at those uh, instructions here real quick. And obviously with these uh, Android ports, whoops, with these Android ports, you will need uh, a couple of plugins. So you'll need the KU Bridge FD Fix along with the LibShack CCG uh, file. And this is the uh, shader compiler or whatever. But you can follow this guy to, you know, completely do that. It's very easy. I have a full video on how to get the PSM runtime updated and get you this file through Shark Food. Anyways. Uh, it is a little bit tedious with this one. You will have to use like a total commander and the Sark plug. And you will have to, you know, compile some of these files and configure it all together. You know, you have to use a compressor or whatever. I haven't really gone through this process. And if you guys are interested, I can get a tutorial video ready for you guys. But that's the problem that I've been having. Now... Yeah, that's that's an issue I really want to talk about here. But before we do, uh, let's talk about the other ports that have been available to us. We have uh, Vita First Sight. Let's check out this one. So this is a visual novel for the PS Vita. Nice. We have the Super Mario Unimaker, which I did cover in a specific video. And I was really surprised to see that developer reach out. And comment on the video. Thank you so much, Mega Game Boy, for uh, leaving a comment, taking your notes, and hopefully we'll get a updated UniMaker so it's fully functional and we can actually play and create our levels and upload it for the community. That would be amazing, and I'm sure a lot of people would share their different levels on the PS Vita port. So very excited to see that new update. We also have the new Mario Vita. Very nice. This one was, uh, let's see here. This one was covered last month in June. And also we have the Kiro Blaster Vita. This one's a very interesting port. And there are, let's see, there are some other stuff that's available. And you can add, let's see here, you can add the Pink Hour version 1.60 along with pink heaven version 1.6.1 which is nice it's all added it's all together with the port pretty awesome you just have to make sure to create the specific uh folders within the kiro the main kiro folder under data and you should be good to go and finally we have girls are weird plus this one was added recently, a remaster of a visual novel called Girls Are Weird for the PS Vita. Let's check it out here through VitaDB. And I love this website. Let's check it out. Let's go to the release page. Here it is. Very interesting. But yes, it is available to download. Now, the problem I've been having recently with some of these ports is that uh, I keep getting these nasty errors. Now, for me as a content creator, I love to make these guides on how to get these ports installed like Grand Theft Auto. I've made the Grand Theft Auto 3, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, Vice City, so on and so forth. I've made all these tutorials that I had so much fun with. Now, the one that scratched my head a lot was the War of Mine. For some reason, I cannot get this damn game to work. I've done everything in the instructions to get it to work step by step. Hell, I even went online to download it for free to try some other file. 
and I still got an error and I'm not sure if people are getting this error but I went through the entire installation guide and it's not difficult it's almost the same thing that you're doing with the other ports that I've covered like crazy taxi uh, bully and several others so the problem that I've been having is that it cannot read the lib android game so now if anybody can guide me to how to fix this problem please let me know in the comment section it's driving me crazy I bought the damn game three dollars it was on sale finally and the original price was I believe fifteen dollars I was like hell no I'm not buying that for fifteen bucks I'm a little broke but yeah uh, I also got game stories too. bought it off the Android store the Play Store or the Google Play Store you know followed the steps here I have my Libshack CCG the uh, the auto plugins have installed the KU bridge with FD fix. I thought I was missing something, but you know my PS Vita 1000 is running great. It has a bunch of ports that has no issues running whatsoever. I'll show you all the ports that are working just fine. And I have made videos on all this stuff, and I've had a lot of fun doing these videos and played a lot of these ports, no problem whatsoever. So I'm just scratching my head on that. So yeah, if anybody can guide me on that, that'd be great. Now the next one that I've had an issue with is going to be Kiro Blaster. Kiro Blaster, the latest update was for version 1.6.1. .1. This is very frustrating because uh, again, I've done everything that's required but the problem that I'm having with this port is that it needs the version, let's see, it was updated to version 1.6.1. .1. So I bought the latest game version on the Play Google Play Store. No problem. It was a couple bucks. I went through the entire installation guide. But here is the issue. This file, the libpxgame.so, is not included in the APK that I extracted. I was going through the guide. I was going through everything, and for some reason, this file is not given to me through the APK. Now, I try to find free downloads online just to test it, right? Just to test it. I bought this game, no problem. I have it on my Android phone. Not an issue there. I wanted to download this for free online, but the version 1.6.1 .1 is not available for free to download through any APK website. So I tried the 1.6.0 and I started the game, but it just gives me an error saying, hey, you have the wrong version. So I'm like, how the hell am I supposed to get this version? Am I supposed to go back to version 1.0? And I think I have to, uh, maybe, possibly, because there are versions of 1.6.0 available online. And that's what I used. 1.6.1 .1 is not available, so I used the 6.0, and that still didn't work for me. It says incompatible. So, again, I'm running into these issues with these ports where, you know, we're, make, we're doing these steps, no problem. And sometimes we're not even getting the uh, the file that's required to get the game up and going so it's been a little frustrating and I haven't even tried to install the latest port which is uh, Fahrenheit Vita which I'll work on this weekend I'm feeling a lot better I'm getting out of this little fever that I was in for the last three or four days so this is gonna be my next little project for the PS Vita it's going to be a lot of fun. Hopefully it is. And I don't run into any issues like I've like I have with uh, Kiro Blaster and uh, this war of mine. So if you guys can give me some feedback on maybe something I'm doing wrong, usually I can get this stuff right. I mean, it's pretty simple. It's self-explanatory. I mean, they've the, the guys who develop this stuff, you know, Rene Garamante and the the flow here, they, they do a great job on the work that they uh release and and the uh, instructions are very simple very easy to understand for me personally but yeah I feel like I'm just missing something 
and the Kiro Blaster, you know, that file is just not there. This one is just not in the uh, APK extracted file. And I've looked everywhere on my phone. I tried different methods, different file explorers, different ways to back up the APK, share it, and I just still get the same results as far as the files in the APK go. So let me know in the comment section what you guys think of these latest ports and what you would look forward to as far as new ports coming to the PS Vita. I'm very excited to see what's to come yet for the PS Vita. And there's so many amazing game ports that have been available for us on the PS Vita. So make sure to jump as much as you can on these new releases. So that way you don't miss out on them. Make sure you have it on your Vita with your entire collection. And just have fun with it. So that is it for this one guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe to the channel. And hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Take care guys and I'll see you on the next one.